Hey folks, so it is like 10-ish here, it's like 10, quarter after 10 here, and uh, I've got a uh, problem. My neighbor comes over after my son starts throwing a fit about uh, whatever it is that upset him. He won't tell me and the wife what's wrong, he will not speak to any of us, and he continues to scream, holler, kick his legs, and, and basically have a fit. Um, my neighbor basically comes over. She's irate. Um, this has happened once before where my son couldn't have candy at 3 a.m. when he woke up from a bad dream. And, you know, the apartment walls aren't exactly thin. So when, you know, I look over to my neighbor on my left over here, we have a concrete wall dividing us, but I look over to my neighbor on my right, and, uh, you know, you can knock on the wall. You hear it's hollow. There's probably two inches of drywall separating our apartments, period. That is not a sound blocker by any means. But, uh, essentially, our neighbor has threatened to call the police and CSB because you need to take care of your kids. You need to grow up and be a real man and take care of your son, and... You need to know how to, t you need to take care of your kids instead of sitting there and doing nothing. Well, as we've, you know, as I stream and many times, you know, my son and my daughter fight and they, you know, one goes after the other or takes away something and they start screaming and crying over it. You know, and I mute. I mute the stream because of it. Um, am I wrong for basically taking my son to bed as punishment? for misbehaving he's already had dinner he's already got you know food and drink he's you know got a fresh diaper and everything am i wrong for taking him to bed and unfortunately all of that screaming and crying has woken up our neighbor you know because he's pounding on the door and he's pounding on the floor and and beating on the walls and stuff but his room is not connected to the neighbor's wall at all but I know you can feel it through the floor, and I'm pretty sure anytime we yell in our apartment, they hear the whole conversation. V just vice versa, because I heard her, her conversation. She's moaning, groping, and complaining about whatever over there. And, it, you know, it, if, if maybe my wife could have just, like, you know, not said, like, the whole F-U-B and, you know, get the hell out of here and go back home stuff... I could have handled this conversation. I was in my living room. My living room is quite literally this. Right next to my edge of my desk, right over here, is the entrance to the kitchen. And then there's about 12 feet to the front door. That's it. I have like, I don't know, 10, 20 yards between front door and back door. Like, we have a small apartment. And... It's three bedrooms, but it's not quiet. <laughs> so, yeah, am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything I can do to stop a three-year-old who's not getting his way because he's spoiled, who's not getting his way to calm down. Let me know if you guys have any uh, comments or concerns Hell, uh, or solutions for when, you know, children are just throwing fits. We'd love to know. We've tried pretty much everything. And and we're trying to do our best. So let us know, guys. All right. Have a good one. And as always, keep good parenting.